What got you uh, watching, like, MMA? You started watching MMA and stuff like that? Actually, uh, after I learned guitar when I was younger, um, I wanted to do something physical. And so there was an MMA gym, shout out to Smiley's Combat Athletics, where I'm still at. Um, that gym was right next to my house uh, back in the day. So I ended up joining that gym, and I just fell in love with it. And it was just like, man, this is what I need to be doing. I was like, I, I found like my calling. I felt like. Um, has there been like a, a fighter in the MMA or UFC that caught your attention? Uh, well, like the first one that ever caught your attention? Yeah. I, so back then, uh, so we're talking like 2009, 2010. Like um, back then, uh, I think Anderson Silva was running the game. Uh, he was just he would he I mean, unstoppable. He, yeah, he held the title for long times and. Uh, and he's still fighting. I, I mean, I watched this fight of him with this young guy, and this young guy was a badass, just throwing some crazy like uh, hook kicks and spinning uh, heel hooks, and just throwing all this stuff. And Anderson Silva was keeping up right with them, even though Anderson was like supposed to retire like when I started, but he's still fighting and he still got it, you know. Mm -hmm. So he's always one of those guys. Have you uh, met any of the, any fighters? MMA, UFC? Have you met? Any? Yeah. Uh, Man, I've been doing this for a long time, so I mean, uh, you know, you, you get into contact with uh, a lot of cool people. Uh, I've probably met about U uh, 50 UFC fighters, I'd probably name off the top of my head. Just Throw some out there. Throw um, some out there. Mike Brown, like Hector Lombard, uh, Hoist Gracie, was the very first UFC fighter. Um, you know, uh, Tim Kennedy, we trained with a, a couple times. Uh, let's see, uh, Nate Diaz, he's a big one. Uh, Anthony, Rumble he's like Johnson. one of the ones yeah. I would like to meet. He's yeah, seems wild. <laughs> um, he seems is he humble? I wouldn't say that. I, I, I would, I mean, a lot of them are, are pretty, pretty focused, you know. Mm -hmm. I think every you know, all the UFC fighters are pretty focused and like determined. I've noticed, um, yeah, just to name a few. I mean, I can go on, the list goes on. And, and what's the, the you trained with some UFC fighters? Yeah, I mean, well. They come and do seminars. Um, like my coach, uh, one of my professors, Tom DeBlas, is a UFC fighter. He was a UFC fighter, also was a Bellator and currently signed to 1FC. Uh, so, I mean, I, we, we train with UFC fighters all the time. Uh, you know, we had, sorry, we had, uh, the, the girl I was telling you about, Tisha Torres, her fiance, and Raquel Pennington, it was Amanda Beth Cooper, Gray Maynard, and Benson Henderson, which was actually, uh, used to be, uh, champion i think it was a lightweight or lightweight champion something like that mm -hmm. uh for the ufc they all came and uh trained not too long ago um uh, at my gym and we just they just kind of got some work in so a lot of times uh ufc fighters they actually come we, we all just kind of train together it's kind of like a normal thing for fighters yeah